I have been teaching in the Mac Lab since 2002, January of 2002, and I've never done this before. Okay, here we go. I'm a resource for you. I don't bite. See, it's written right there. I don't bite. I may pretend to be mean, but it's an act. It's a shtick, okay? I want to help you succeed. And part of the way I want to help you succeed is by getting out of your way. That's why I sit over at my desk most of the time. I want to give you room to find out what you can do when you judge the pace of your learning. When you learn what it means to try your best, to not give up, to learn from your mistakes and play by the rules. I expect you to understand that I care about you. I do. Am I going to express it? No. You know why? This thing gets in the way. Okay? Click it. Don't click it. But don't say I didn't tell you. Look, I have a wife and a daughter. So I did the family thing fairly well. They know I love them. They've had plenty of time to get to know me. Look, I love you guys too. I'm just not going to show it is not in my wheelhouse. But I do expect you to believe me when I tell you I care about you and I want you to succeed. So it's up to you. Am I lying? Did you try looking at this? Do you understand what that means? Okay, we process information differently from one another. One thing I'll do is I'll cry all the time. I'll try to tell you a story about something that touches my heart and I'll choke up and I'll have a hard time getting through it because I find beauty and human connections so important and so rare. You know, little success stories bring me to tears and I want you to understand I can't turn that on and off. It just happens. So, you got a weird teacher. He's got some weird rules. And he's going to stick to them all year long because one of the characteristics of this is some pretty obsessive, compulsive um, <laughs> tendencies. Okay? And... If I'm convinced something is worth fighting for, I'll fight for it. And one of those things I believe in fighting for is you and your opportunities to succeed, even when you don't think you can. So if we cross swords in here, if I give you heck for something, no, it's not because I don't like you. It's the opposite. If I didn't care, I'd let you fail. Get out of my room. I don't care about you. Okay? If that were the case, that's what would happen. But why will I approach you again and again, trying to convince you to try? Because I know some kids, they just don't do it at first. Sometimes it takes until the second semester, but I almost always get through at some point even though I don't understand what motivates you. I don't understand because of this, okay? Some of you are gonna say, me too. I know, I know. Don't give up. There's a bright future when you start to see things from your own point of view. Okay, you guys, there's my two cents for urging you to understand that a guy over there at the desk really does care about you. Write whatever you want here. I was just going to say, I don't care. I don't care that if you believe me or not. I care that I tried to be honest. Okay? This is my best shot right here.